Welcome to PNG Innovation Expo Live, the podcast series that unveils the power of PNG innovation. I'm Liam. And I'm Pam. And we're your hosts. We are thrilled to welcome you on this exciting journey of exploring groundbreaking ideas and disrupting strategies. And today we are delighted that we have Federica Pompey, our Senior Vice President of our Femcare Business in Europe, to sit with us and share her insights, experiences and visions for the future. Thank you for the invite. <laughs> Federica, let's get started. So, which needs are emerging from consumer in Europe? So, um, first of all, let me say, um, understanding the needs of European consumer is really the way and the only way uh, we can deliver irresistible superiority. So innovation that is really wow for these consumers. And one thing we've seen after the pandemic, a lot of new trends have emerged. I mean, the European consumer went through so much that we're seeing so many things today in the current environment. One has been the rise of well-being. Okay, and in that, you know, the space of sleep, you know, big, I mean, I'm sure you've read so many articles, everything about, you know, how do you sleep better, the importance of sleep. For us, sleeping through period is a truly a mad need for consumers. Today, imagine that up to 80% of our consumer still don't have a perfect night's sleep when they, when they have a period. Um, and in most of the cases, in 40% of the cases, it's because they have a leak. Uh, and yet, they're not reassessed, you know, that protection solution. You know, 80%, they still didn't really look at that. So based on that trend, you know, we went, um, you know, all on and understand, okay, what is difference in the sleeping position versus, the, you know, the standing position, an active day versus a sleepy day. Um, you know, we had, you know, a portfolio of products, which was designed, um, you know, to to, to take care of, you know, protection, which is comfortable, kind of for any need. But then when you go deeper, you know, we went and enlarged our portfolio of night products with something much more dedicated, larger back, you know, wings which are more positioned for when you're horizontal. And that's one thing that has been incredibly delightful, uh, you know, to meet to this consumer threat. And you touched slightly in your answer there on irresistible superiority. And it's a constant theme we've been seeing across the Innovation Expo about superiority across multiple vectors. Could you talk a little bit about how in your category, uh, innovation is delivering superior performance and ultimately delivering growth? Yeah, absolutely. Let me maybe take a specific example, you know, probably the one I'm the most proud of. Um, we launch, as always, in the incontinent space, uh, late in the game, if you want. This is a category that's been existing for 20 to 30 years, and we just came in nine years ago. And this was a category that, you know, almost a 30% of females suffer from it. Even at very young age, uh, it can start to happen, you know, incidents after pregnancy, you know, it goes up into menopause. But the way the category was designed was this very bulky products. So for very, very senior people. So you almost had to give up your entire life. What you would do, how would you dress? So, you know, based on that insight, we have redesigned our products, you know, which is, you know, the always discrete year in a very different way, right? The technology is all designed to give that incredible protection, but in a much, much thinner, you know, products, pants and, um, and, and, uh, and pads. Um, and therefore, this has enabled a much broader range of adoption. Uh, and that's why our business has been growing, you know, more than 20% year on year. But the category growth and almost double had a growth rate since we came in. Because people didn't have to feel they had to compromise anymore. They could still, you know, find a solution for an incontinence problem, uh, but still live their own life every day. And that's really what, you know, the type of innovation, uh, you know, which has, has a disruptive uh, impact on your life and therefore can accelerate uh, category growth. Amazing. Thank you. So we talked innovation and another important pillar is sustainability. So how sustainability is impacting your category and actually embracing femcare products? So sustainability is a big, big top of mind, you know, for users when it comes to period protection, right? This is a product that you use every month. They kind of look wasteful because they are disposable. So again, up to 70 to 80 percent of consumers say, you know, I want a product that does a better job. However, what's very, very important, you know, um, the entire majority is not ready to compromise. And that's what we had to keep in mind when designing, you know, products which are still irresistible superior. They do the job. They still need to protect. They still need to be invisible. They need to be comfortable and more sustainable. It can be one or the other. So you have a lot of niche green brands that maybe do this job well, but they don't do both jobs. So that's the first thing. I mean, we had to go after both. 
Um, you know, very much in line with the company strategy, we have taken sustainability and embedded in the way in which we design our innovation strategy. Think about what I told you before. The best product for the best protection, which is also most comfortable, are more compact, thinner, right? You know, this concentrated protection. Guess what? When you do that, these are also less wasteful, less CO2 emission. So our strategy is reduced. So it's this more compact approach uh, so that today, actually, this always this grid I was mentioning before is, you know, a third less wasteful than what, you know, the incumbent. So we have a huge strategy, which is, you know, you deliver better protection comfort, but also in a more, you know, condensed and thinner product, reduced. Then replace, we took ingredients which were fossil derived and replaced them with natural based ingredients. That's what we did, for example, with magic paper, right? I mean, this category is all shaped in plastic because that's how you keep it hygiene. We managed to create a paper treatment that can do the same. Um, and of course, you know, it's paper, it goes straight into your recycle stream. So second strategy is replace. And our three strategies reuse. So, you know, for a lot of jobs, you will still need to go, you know, disposable. I took the night job before. You will still need these longer pads, you know, for the heavy days. But for some jobs, your lighter days, your active days, or maybe when you're just at home, you know, one we just introduced is this durable underwear. So we embedded our protection um, kind of technology into an underwear um, that then you can use as anywhere else. Then you dispose it. It lasts up to three years, 100 washes, and then it can become part of your portfolio and really reduce waste very dramatically. So interesting. Thank you. And thank you for sharing how superior innovation working hand in hand with sustainability is so fundamental to your category. Uh, final question. You've walked through the Innovation Expo. You've seen everything that's, that's on offer. What innovation has excited you most? Uh, actually, the one that uh, I am going to try as soon as come out is the Add and Shoulder Bear. Mm. Um, I resonate so much with, um, you know, the, the, the power of the brand and, you know, but I have that, I, I'm part of this target, right? I have the perception is to arch in me. So right. I love the idea of an Add and Shoulder Bear. Um, I'm going to try as soon as it comes out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this episode in the PNG Broadcasting Studio. Thank you, Federica, and we hope that you enjoyed this episode. So thank you for joining us again on our journey to unveil the secrets of P&G innovation. Thank you very much. Until next time, keep innovating.